In this patient, I am planning to give lower extremity block. And I am giving here a swast compartment block. This will block the lumbar plexus and a sacral plexus block. If we combine both the block, this will anesthetize whole of the lower extremity on one side. I have marked the posterior spare iliac spine here. I have marked the top of the iliac crust and I have taken a midpoint between the posterior iliac spine and iliac crust and this midpoint here just above the iliac crust is the entry point for the swast compartment block. I have marked the posterior iliac spine and a parallel line from the midline. I have drawn the parallel line from the posterior iliac spine in downward direction and a entry point for the sacral plexus block is taken about three finger widths down from the posterior square iliac spine. These three finger widths is equal to the finger widths of the patients. If, you are, if it is a pediatric patient, you take the widths of the three fingers of the child. So now, just anesthetize the entry point with a fine gauge needle. This fine gauge, I have taken 26 gauge needle. Same way and insert the needle from the previously anesthetized point. Just press on the plunger on the piston here and check for the release of we are feeling some resistance here. Advance gradually. Anesthetic solution that contains 7 ml 2% gyalocaine adrenaline and 7 ml 0.5% BP vacaine and 7 ml normal saline. So this 20 ml volume here, 21 ml. It's just stabilize the needle. Aspirate and then inject. Rotate in at least two plane to avoid accidental intravascular injection. The most dreaded complications occurs in regional block is accidental intravascular injection of local anesthetics. Parasacral approach to sacral plexus block is complete. See there is a regurgitation of the fluid. So I am palpating the top of the iliac crust here and this point is taken in between the posterior iliac spine and iliac crust. The needle is inserted. I have taken 20 ml of the solution. The whole of the needle in this patient that is gone inside that is about 7.5 7.5 centimeter in depth so there is free flow of fluid again aspirate let's rotate the needle aspirate it again Now this is in proper plane, I have taken 5 ml more, and inject this solution. So total volume I have given is 25-26 ml. Now here you can notice the slow regurgitation. So here I have injected in a proper plane.